I am Aida Gyeongnya, Director of Senegalese Med Service. Now we are in the context of climate change and variability and livelihood of most vulnerable communities uh, depend on weather and climate conditions, particularly for women communities. Uh, in these communities, you can say food, water, energy, healthcare are our women hands. And these uh, are highly tied to climate variability and weather condition. Providing weather and climate services could be a meaningful way to uh, reduce vulnerability. However, there is an equal access and use of, of weather and climate services regarding men and women. Actually, we conducted many uh, roving seminars with fishermen and farmers, and we ensure that we have women and men participating to these seminars. I will give you an example for agriculture. We discover that despite the fact that we have women participation and we provide climate information to women, when it comes to evaluation, we found that women did not use uh, climate information. And we discover that in those regions, uh, women have to plant after men's because men have privilege to use um, working means. And what we discover is women uh, need more information regarding rain season cessation than men who need more information regarding rain season onset. Regarding the gender strategy, there is a need to develop an action plan to ensure that uh, uh, gender dimension is taken account in governance, program and activities, not only within WMO, but also that need to be extended to technical commission and regional association. For example, regional association one has nominated a focal point for gender, myself, and this action plan needs also to be adapted at national level for med services, but also in service prov provision to ensure that there is uh, equal access to weather and climate information for life saving and properties.